In Indiana, parenting time is determined by the best interest of the child standard. So courts are gonna look at many factors. Uh, some of those include the sex and age of the child, the wishes of the parents, uh, the wishes of the child, interaction with siblings, and also their adjustment to their home and school. Many people believe that if you're in a 50-50 parenting time arrangement, that neither parent pays support. And that's not necessarily true. If we have a disparity in income where one party makes significantly more than the other party, you could have a situation with uh, one parent paying the other child support, even in a 50-50 parenting time arrangement. In Indiana, we looked at the Indiana Child Support Guidelines uh, in, to make that determination. So courts are gonna apply certain factors. Some of those include the gross income of the parties. It's gonna include the amount of overnights, uh, if a parent is paying, uh, providing for work-related child care expenses or providing insurance, they'll receive certain credits. And it's a basic formula uh, that the court makes a determination or makes a recommendation uh, for child support. If you're attempting to get joint custody in Indiana, remember the standard is the best interest of the child. So always keep that in mind. Don't use your child as a tool to combat with your ex. Show the court that you can co-parent. If you're moving, I recommend that you stay in close proximity, preferably the same school district. And if you're not exercising parenting time or the other parent is frustrating your ability to exercise parenting time, make sure you keep records and file the appropriate motions with the court.